You know what? Let's start a new game. Because I, I... Earlier I saw that one of them was... Was like right at the beginning. So I can't go back for it. Okay. Wait, which ones do I not have? Uh, how many bookmarks are there? I don't think there's... Oh, 15. Okay. Looks like a photo album, but it's locked and you can't open it. I've never seen a photo album like this before. I'll just leave it here, but I'm a little curious. It's already midnight. I've been dragging my feet for too long. Oh. Should take the funeral clothes I borrowed from mom to the cleaners. Just a little more cleaning for today. Need to clean up some more. Right. Oh wait, this one here. Um. Oh, I guess not. Um. Where was it? Well. All right, I'll put this on the bookshelf. Small key obtained. What's this key for? And why is it here? It's almost like it was hidden here. Um, I'm actually not sure if uh, this will result in an ending, so let's put it ball 10. Let's save. Don't open it. I don't think I should look at this album for a while. There's just too much on my mind already. I can't afford to be sentimental. I'll be on my own starting tomorrow. I feel so tired suddenly. I'll go to my room and sleep for now. I have to live on my own from now on. Everything just happened so fast. All I can do is sleep, like I'm trying to pretend it didn't happen. The next day, I gave up trying to clean my parents' room. One day, when I opened the door to my parents' room, I noticed that the clock had stopped moving. But just like with that photo album, I just let it be. I don't have many memories of my childhood. That album might contain memories that are precious to me, but I don't have the courage to open it anymore. Days and months passed before I knew it. I started being able to pretend like I was alright in front of my friends and everyone else I knew. But it still feels like there's a gaping hole in my heart, which I've quietly locked away. Just like with that photo album, I don't have the courage to open it. And I'm not sure I ever will. Book end. A door left closed. Um, yep, so that, that does actually, that is actually an ending. Um, think about it. What should I do? Looking at it now might be hard. Let me take a deep breath. Alright. Open it. A 
opening it now might be ho might be hard on me. Open. Open. I uh, they really wanted you to get that bookmark by saying don't open. <laughs> And I just did it. I just skipped past it. Um. Uh. What was I doing again? Right, I need to close the windows. It's locked and shut. Living device, good luck on your journey. Sub, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, the front door. I checked all the windows, right? For sure. The windows in the front door, I did. Oh, there's one here. All locked up, time for bed then. Cool. Right, yeah. This, uh, this was... Huh. Foreshadowing. Right, the pendulum is swinging. Pendulum is shulkan. I guess that police officer guy wasn't actually bad. I just looked way too into things. Would have been subtle. It would have been pretty good foreshadowing, though. It would have been very subtle. But it would have been pretty cool. Because there was very few hints. But... Hey, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, well, the bus isn't coming. Bus? Not enough people used it, so it was decommissioned. Of course. Are you on your way to Azakawa Village? Yeah, I see. Alright. 
It's not safe to be alone here. How about I give you a ride? Are you sure? Of course. So, where are you headed to? I'm looking for this place. Do you know anything about it? Oh, uh... It's the uh, village, village archive. Huh? Archive? Wait, did I... I made a mistake. I need to reset. I need to reset. Fuck. God damn it, man. Where's the... There it is. Oh my god. Okay. Sure. Amazing. Oh my god, I just realized we're at 420. Oh, let me screenshot that. That's nice. Very nice. Fun. Um, does the game, uh, there we go, finally. Come on. Well, I gotta redo that again. Oh, and I, oh, I have to... Open. Open. Alright, let me... Alright, you know what, um... Let me just... Nice. Okay, hold on. Well, this one's locked. Then the one in my room. Make sure to save this one in my room for last, since the bed is literally right next to it. But eh, it's fine. And the door. Cool. Time for bed. No, 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 no. Listen.
Wait. Hold up. Okay, just taking out the take the auto clicker off. Also, please tell me that that black bar on where the game was wasn't always there. Please tell me that's the case. Because when the fuck did that happen? I think it was. It just might was. No, it's still the same. Fuck it, I'll leave it like that. I don't care anymore. I don't think the bus is coming. Police car. I see. Alright. It's not safe to be it's not safe to be alone here. How about I give you a ride? I'll pass. Are you sure? But where where are you headed? Well, I'm looking for this place. The Azakawa Village Arch Archive. What brings you there? Uh, this is an archive? Don't tell me you were going to a place you knew nothing about. Um, it's pretty far from here. Are you sure you don't want to ride? Well... If you really don't want one, I won't push it any further. The roads get pretty dark at night, so be careful out there. There's just something not quite right out here. I turned him down. But now I know this address is for an archive. No use worrying. Better head out while I I'd better head out and take a look. Oh. Finally, I made it. The sun went down and it's practically pitch pitch black out. But somehow I found a sign that I made my way I made my way here. It really is an archive now, but the old man in the picture can't be running this late, right? If I head over here, no. Looks like this path continued continues into a forest. The door's open. I guess they're not closed. I've come this far, so I might as well take a look around. Here goes nothing. It's dark. Huh? 
This smell feels familiar. All right, it's the same as the old clock at home. Excuse me, is anyone there? Wait on. Okay, I think from here it's the same as always, right? A key labeled emergency locker. There it is. Oh what? Let's save. Still here because we don't need this anymore. Locked off. You can literally walk around that shit. I forgot what you do here. Um, hold on. What was that? I need to find Oh, there we go, right, the kitchen's open. And would you know it, uh, I can't do anything with it. Wow. Um, wait, what did you do here again? I don't remember. Um, go up here. Look somewhere. Now you can go on the third floor too. Guess nobody comes here. Wait, what room was that? Uh... 
fire on key. It's locked. It's locked. Not this one, it's this one. Yeah, Alright. No, go, go back in. Okay, um... Right, so I need to take this to the the little desk thingy, in the reception, on the first floor. Give me the caretaker. Came from here. Stay away. Hey, I should just leave for now. It's so dark. Could be scary if I actually found anyone. Somehow, I kind of feel like a thief sneaking around. You're the girl from the station earlier. Uh, um, you got a call from the archive. Sounded different than usual. Like, there was an actual intruder. So, it was you. I thought you seemed suspicious when I saw you back at the station. Uh, this is a misunderstanding. I... Then you can explain yourself at the police station. Alright. Well, you may have your reasons. We should still open up and be honest with people, you know? To think I really would end up giving you a ride. I was then taken to the police station. The officer I spoke with recognized that it was a misunderstanding. He even went through the trouble of contacting the archive to explain. However, when the caretaker finally replied, Don't let her anywhere near here again. Was all he had to say. I'll admit my actions were rash and very selfish. As I reflected on my actions, I felt incredibly embarrassed at myself. I understand. I'm so sorry for all the trouble I've caused. With those words, I quietly left the village. From that point on, I began hiding my emotions from others and myself. Putting on a cold front for days and weeks on end. Before long, summer vacation was over. And sometime later, I joined the workforce. But every summer, I think to myself, what if I had acted differently back then? At first, I felt tormented by regret over what happened. But as life goes on, it's hard to keep thinking about what if, about every what if. Summer will always come next year, and the next, and the one after. Hey Shiori, let's go to Saipan this summer. Sure, I'll go. The answer I gave my co-worker felt like a sham. 
I'm still turning a blind eye to what's important. But it's too late to do anything about it. There will probably never come a day where I'll set foot in that village again. Book end. Task of a brief summer. Cool. Okay. Bookmark 3 I already have. 4 I already have. But... Yeah. I already have five. I need six, seven, eight. I have nine. And and these last two are endings. So I need seven, eight, uh, six, seven, eight. 10, and then these two are endings. Okay. Uh, how do I, oh right, close bookmark. I hate that you can't just click X. What is this? Not this far. <laughs> no, this is way too far. This one's like way, way ahead. I think some of them you have to get on certain days. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> like, I kind of despise that. Um... What about here? Where is this? Stamp rally, spare key ring, and fishing ticket. I have 14. Jesus Christ. Spare key ring. Maybe I do have to restart from scratch, huh? I think Miyako will listen to you. Oh. Was this one... I think I just have to restart from scratch, don't I? Okay, hold on. Let's see.
Um. No, okay. I just need to. I just need to get to chapter two. I think. I don't actually need to. Because that's the first time you get to town. Let me see. Oh, let me see if I can find like a save file for the start of chapter two. There actually is. Oh no, never mind. No, no, that's that's not it. No, no, there isn't. Um. Wait, that means I have to do this one again. That means I have to do this fishing side quest again. Oh, hell no. Where was... Save file 1? Because I do not remember. This is literally my last option before I... I'm literally forced to... Where is this? Oh, what day is this? Wait! That's good! Wait, this is the start, isn't it? This is the start of chapter 2. Okay. Uh, what do I need to do again? No way, I just conveniently had a save file to the start of chapter 2 this whole time. Where the fuck did I need to go again? Um... Oh, right here, wait. Yep. Okay.
Yeah. Oh, the police station. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Oh my god, I know where the fucking clinic is. Um, excuse me. Yes, what is it? I'm looking for somebody past Do you know where it is? Oh, yes. Well, do you know where the crossroad is? It's up the hill from there. I see. Thank you very much. Right. The hill is quite steep, so please be careful. Oh, okay. Stamp rally. Alright. Here's the first one. Right here. Which... <laughs> I like how the first one is like the last one I got. When I first did this. Okay. Cool. You. You're, you're a side quest. Go. Do it. D talk to me. Help. Yeah, I know, I know how this works. Okay. Um, I thought there was some here. Don't tell me they're random. Don't tell me they're random. Is that Miko just now? It might have been. This is the first side quest I did, which I think that yeah, this is the first time you get into town. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay. There's one right there. Alright, I should probably talk to, like, everyone I can. Who's so are you? Hello. Right. Hello there.
I think I never truly completed the rally one, the rally side quest. And that's the... Because I got it like when I couldn't go back to the village anymore. Which means I'm a fucking moron. Hold on, let me... Save. Just in case. Right? But if I were to do... Let's say... Go to fall 2. Go to fall 2. Head to the balcony. Alright, do this as normal, just... I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna watch someone while I'm at it. Oh, no way. I think I... Okay, hold on. Let me... Head to the clinic. Stupid fuck. Got a big gift for a young girl. Can't believe you picked every, ve every veggie in the village. But a young person like you big a big is a good thing. Shit. 
There it is, right here. Okay, hold on. Let me see if... Wait, now that I think about it... Did I do the... Hello Elixir, how you doing? Oh my, did you complete the stamp rally? You're the first person I've seen complete it. And I thought anyone would actually do it. I guess even the town hall has some good ideas sometimes. You're really amazing though. You actually went all over our village. Here's your reward. That's it. <laughs> the stamp rally was actually kind of fun. Can you say hello everyone? This is your daily dose of internet. Are you trying to make me like a fucking norm, like a stereotypical YouTuber? Like fucking. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet and welcome back to Force of Drizzling Rain. Before we move, before we go, make sure to smash that like button. And subscribe so you never miss an upload. <laughs> like that. Now that I think about it, um... So, we have a food store shop. I'm really good at that. Today I'll go home early and get prepared. I'll do my best. Um, what? I wish I could see, like... Impression thousand out of ten. Oh god. I never want to do that again. <laughs> Hold on, let me no I fucked up. Where is it? Oh, so yeah, I have to, yep, I have to do it all again. Okay, hold on. Wait. This is the start, right? Yes, it is, okay. Okay, um, where's the hungry kitten? Because apparently there is a hungry kitten. Is it this one? It looks like it's hungry. Oh, you poor little thing. Let me get something to eat right now. Uh, oh wait, first. I should probably, yeah, go here. Uh, don't talk to you yet. Here. Here, here, here. Yeah, I don't, that that's not that's not my problem right now. That's not my problem. 
Got this. I've seen you before. I don't get young guys like doing like you in the village. Much to you stand out. Help us out. Move your hands and quit your slacking. God damn. Uh, and also at the shrine, there's some, I think. There we go. There is one. There we go. Uh, why do I feed the cat though? Oh, I have to fish! Right! Okay, hold on. Uh, I over... I, I went over where, where I needed to go. Fishing ticket. Yeah, um... I think we all know how much I hate the fishing minigame. So, uh... I think it's safe to say that I'll be using an auto clicker for this and also do a lot of saves coming. Can you blame me? Do I need to save file? What was I doing in it? Ah. Fish. Wait, what? Talk to the cafe attendant first. How many endings do you have already? Uh, four. So I have one left and a secret ending. So two left. Uh, but I'm just getting... I'm just getting the, um... I'm getting the bookmarks first, just because. But I hate this fishing mini game, so I'm just gonna save scum. Get your ass over here. What's your opinion? Political opinion on tacos. There's a political opinion on tacos. What the hell's a political opinion on tacos? Um. I guess, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I never actually had a taco. I never had a taco, I don't think. They're pretty good, I'm guessing. Come on, there we go. Yes. Yes, yes. They're very good. Surprised you never had one? Yeah. Because I rarely go out to eat, and when I do, I just get like. I just get like, uh. I don't know, like Japanese or something like that. I have five fishing tickets. Uh, in my opinion, tacos. I don't like. I don't like fancy tacos, I like meat and cheese and lettuce and that's it with the same cheese like same with cheeseburgers. I mean cheeseburgers I get, but tacos I don't know. Chinese minnow. I'm gonna try not to get any repeat fish. So I can save over this. Actually, you know what? This has the the harder to get fish, so Okay. 
Come on. Stupid fucking fish. Come on. Is your sec- Oh, now you want it. Sagot tend to have more- tend to have onions, tomatoes, guacamole, or salsa on them. I don't like that kind of stuff. Hmm. And, sal and salsa on tacos is pretty good, IMO. Hmm. It's a matter of taste. I wouldn't know, as I said. Oh, there you go. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh never mind. What is this? Crucian card. All right. I think one of the bookmarks is to complete the Aquapedia Crucian card, uh, Chinese minnow, and eel. Remember these three. Hopefully I don't get another eel. Alright, you. You fucking fish. Get over here. Yeah, you know you want it. Yeah, looks good, doesn't it? But... Okay, I forgot to turn on the auto clicker. What is this? It is a pond loach. Interesting. Okay. I think this might be my last or second to last uh, fishing ticket. Get over here. There we go. And this is a... Japanese char. Like, <laughs> like the VTuber. God, I miss char. Yep, okay. I'm out of tickets. Alright. That's fine though, we got a good amount. Let's give these to the cat. To the very hungry cat. I worked on it for quite a bit now. I don't... Looks like it's hungry. Feed it a fish from the lake. The kitten looks satisfied. Kitten pulls out a few sheets of paper from out... Out from the box. 
Huh? You want me to have these? You want me to have this? More fishing tickets. Nice. Um, where'd I have to go again? No, still closed. All oh, right, I need to talk to um, to what's the name? What's her face? The Miko, Miyako. Yeah, let's fish a little more. Might as well. While I'm at it. Go right here. Save. So what do I have? Chinese minnow, bitter link, Christian card, pawn lodge, Japanese char and eel and i'm pretty sure okay. What was it? Um, a goby, okay. Come on, get over here. Come on, it's right there. Right there. Right. Cut. Dark Sleeper, that is a cool name. I think I only have one fishing ticket left, so we might as well just use it.
You're right there. You're right there. You're right there. Just, just grab it. Yeah. A koi. All right. Oh, wait, 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 I need to uh, keep finding her. There, it is. there she is. I, I can't, I... She over here? No, right? No, she wasn't. No. No way. Yep. Yeah, no, she wasn't. Alright. Oh wait, maybe she was up here. There she is. No, where was she again? Down here? Oh, there she fucking is.
Oh my god, look at that. Oh wait, no way. Um, what did she say? Maybe check out... You should go check out the archive. Explore the village a bit more? Okay. Great. Where do I go? Oh yeah, um... I did I think about it. Right. Oh, I'm stupid. Um, okay. I didn't get the stamps because I'm fucking retarded. Was it the shrine? There you are, you fucking bastard! Get over here! Get 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 your ass over here! There we go. Obtained. Shut up. And then over here... Oh, there he is. And there we go, right here. Alright, and the last one is in the archive, I'll find... I'll find that later. I talk to you now? Maybe we should go check... We should go check out the archive. Maybe. Where is that motherfucker? Uh... 
Um, what did I do again? You seen everything. Oh my god, shut up. Let's go and get the... Uh... Okay, now I'm curious though, right? Because... Because last time I didn't really bother fishing... I didn't really bother to fish last time. So I'm curious, right? What the dialogue is going to be? when I when I make the meal Right, I forgot about uh, you. Just leave her to die.
Let's go. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. I'm brought some groceries, so can I cook myself something here? Sure, don't burn yourself. Thank you, and uh... Um, I actually caught a ton of fish today. So, do you want me to, Do you want to help me eat them at all? Please, I can't finish it all. Exactly how many did you catch? I caught way too many. Wait, so we're eating all of them? That's a lot. Isn't it? They barely all fit on one plate. They bury all fit on the plate. Don't force yourself to eat them all. You'll get a stomach ache. <laughs> yeah. But I've got a strong stomach, so I'll be fine. You're amazing. I'm glad I could cook so much fish. Maybe I can make it fancier tomorrow. Why were you so late today? Miko and I found the lost child on our way back, so... Wait, were you actually waiting for me outside this whole time? Alright. Don't think I need this. I left the auto clicker on and I it, it's fine it's fine not a problem not a problem Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, hold on. I just need to remind myself. is what? It's brand new. Alright, I need to go and look for some some hints, right? Some hints about the family.
Oh wait. Or maybe I don't do that? It's locked. Of course it is. Um. What day is this? Oh wait, wait, there's... We can interact with this. I don't think I've ever done that. Hold on. There's a TV and a VHS player. TV is playing a video... Is playing a video tip of some kind. Watch. Searching for the lost mountain folk. My life of folklore. 1970-something. University. Prof. XX. Retirement thesis recording. In modern days, a guardian would type of would be a type of fortune teller. During the Pac the Pacific War, Mouthers, whose sons became soldiers, would come to pray to those guardians. Guardians were uh, once present throughout Japan. It was a good way for single women to make to make money. However, in many of the villages I, I looked in, I looked into. Most of them were doing nothing more than acting as mediums, or claiming to have second sight. Only Azakawa village was completely different from the rest. In that village, the guardian was actually a man. He didn't act as a fortune teller, but more like a shaman who prayed to the spirits of the mountain. He was flashy, but didn't care about profit. His position appears to be hereditary in the past i heard this person had tremendous power in the village but it seems to be only a matter of time before they become obsolete i've even heard people from the village town hall saying things like this cult-like custom is an embarrassment the village elders were quite angered by that for the person to become the guardian is to be kept inside until they were until they turn seven. Only then can they take their first steps outside. That must be hard. To, uh, that, must, that must be a hard custom to observe in this day and age. The village guardian. Now that I think about it, there was someone with that name in the picture book in my room. No, I've heard this already. That's the emergency exit, it won't work. I did check all of this, right?
Was I just doing this for nothing? I was, wasn't I? I was doing this all for nothing, because this guide has no... Like, I think it has the days wrong. Key was it again? Spare key ring. No? There we go. Maximum day one. Oh, it's just structured badly. It's just badly written, I see. What did you want me to do again? Go into the village? Oh, the kids' room, right. Right, and this is where this stamp is. Perfect. Alright. No, okay, I. Nice. that go 
Boom. Oh, shut up. Wait, so apparently for the secret ending you can't fish. That is oddly specific, but... I need to make a separate save. And then I... Hold on, hold on. Let me see. What is... Secret ending? How do you get that? Wow, this I think I have to play the... This one I need to play the whole game, I think, from scratch. Wait, what is- oh, the shrine. That's amazing.
Ah. Oh, the stream is framey. Hold up. How am I doing? What? Oh, is I supposed to do something at the shrine? Am I not supposed to go here? Why do I not go... Do I go at the back of the... Back here. So now do I go to the village? What the fuck? What are you looking for? Uh, progression. I literally can't on hmm. I need to talk to him multiple times. Can't go in here. I guess I need to talk to everyone around here to learn. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to talk to the people around here. So now, uh, ah. Uh... Do I talk to the officer again? No.
I've talked to everyone. Cat. Um... Am I supp- Oh, wait! Right, I'm supposed to use this. Also, I just realized. Yeah. Right. This fucking payphone that, that you literally only use once in the entire game. Okay, hold on, so... one of them At you. What was the last one? I need to ask. Uh the the guy in the blue with the blue jacket. Hold on, where is it? Where is he? That oh, fucker. Not here. Shrine. It wasn't the shrine, I don't think. I can't even... Oh wait, yes I can. I'm just stupid. Um... Was it the shrine? Oh, yeah it was. Wow, you actually remember more than me. Last one, middle. Oh no, dear. You have to think of the stall. You can't have him simmering something for eight hours at a busy food stall. And he leaves all the cleaning for after. Therefore, the chef will be the man with the work clothes. 
Alright. I was just curious to see what they said. Um, oh, right. Hello, little guy. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh my fucking god, shut up. Okay. Actually accepted that one, so right here. Don't tell me that first I need to ask every single guy in the in the village. So first you need to ask every single guy in the village. Oh no, it's only the ones that... It's only the ones that have like a scene here. Okay, so now I can go to the kitten. Alright. done right then it's chicken hunting fun fact if you have a, a fence like that then yeah chickens will We'll be able to jump over it. I should know. Like, fences like that don't contain chickens or most animals for that matter. Fences don't really contain anything. There's you. 
you. No. Okay. There's you. Not in the shrine. Not in the shrine. Okay. There's you. You, you, you. There we go. There's you. There we go. That's all of them. There we go. Alright, and now for the dreaded one. For the one that I have been dreading this entire time. Let me see what I have. Akopedia. Dark Sleeper, Koi, Gobi. Let me take a picture. Oh, wait. I don't know why, but the sound when you catch a chicken kind of sounds like chicken saying fuck. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear it because I didn't have my headphones on, but like. I hope it sounds like that. Fish here. Yeah, there it is, that motherfucker. Come on, get over here. Get your ass over. Oh, no. Come on, go, get. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come, you fucking bitch ass. I think... I think if the... Alright, let's see what it is. Crushing carp. No, no reset. Reset that. Okay, never mind. I won't even finish what I was about to say then. Come on. Come on, oh my god, he was right there, but that fish was in the way. How many fish are there now that I think about it? Oh, no. Chinese minnow. I have that, don't I?
Yep. Yes, I have that. Um... How many fish are there, hun? Wait, why did I reset like that? I don't know. Um, what's the whole Aquapedia list? Um, why is the game not? Game? Game? About fucking time. Oh. Wait, I guess I don't have to, huh? I guess I can- I, I guess I don't have to, like, finish the Aquapedia. How many fish are there on that thing? Hold on. Is there- is it three fish per fishing spot? Is that what it is? I'm in the middle of fishing. Continue fishing. Huh? Eh? Uh, wait, hold on, this doesn't look right. Yeah, that looks about right. Wait, I... I must just build that one. Okay, um... How many do I have? Fishing ticket, eight. So I... Japanese carp. Is that not what a koi is? Is a koi a different thing? Okay, I need to keep track. So I have eight right now.
Another Japanese card. You're right there. You're right there, you motherfucker. You fucking little prick. Oh my god, no fucking way. You stupid bitch! <gasps> Please. You're right there. Don't let that fish get before you. Oh my god, you snatched it right out. Oh my god, he snatched it right before the fish could get it. Oh my god, no way, I just got it. Oh my god. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Hmm? Okay. I'm just gonna get some more fish. For tonight's dinner. You like fish? I don't mind this. It's not my, it's not my favorite though. Admittedly, to eat. I mean, yeah. Again, I don't mind it, but I would prefer to eat, like, 
either me or like or uh, yeah fun fact fish is not meat technically Japanese base. Hold on, what the fuck? But yeah, I don't mind fish, I'd eat it. But I just prefer things like chicken or like. Not even beef. I actually. I, I don't like beef. Well. I don't like steak, actually. It's different, right? Like, I can eat beef, I just don't like steak. Boy. There you are. Uh, you know, while we're waiting, because it doesn't seem like anyone's gonna come anytime soon, I'm just gonna...
Hey, I'm back. Seems we have enough fish, so... Yep. We're out of, uh, of fishing thingy. Okay. Are you saying something? Uh, I wasn't when this message was sent, I'm pretty sure. Because I was muted. Bye, have a great rest of the stream. Uh, Alright, have uh, fun doing what, whatever you're doing. Making talk to Miss. Oh, you take Miss Imamoto to the clinic. All right. Are you trying to get the secret ending now, or are you trying to find the other ending? Ah, uh, no, right now I'm just trying to do. I'm still trying to get the bookmarks. Though the secret ending might suck. Still tanking in class, so I'm just uh, popping in. But hopefully, it will hopefully it'll take forever to get all the bookmarks. Uh, I think I'm almost done. 
Also, fuck you. No, go fuck yourself. Well, at least you have enough energy to insult me. I was just trying to make sure you weren't mentally dead. Bro, respect the grind. Yeah, everyone says that, but do they actually? I don't know. Do they actually? <laughs> is the real question. <laughs> hey, at least I, I managed to screenshot the fourth one. That's all that matters to me. Wait, hold on. Okay. Hold on, let's see, so...
Oh, there we go. Hold on. And so right here. No, trust me. This light is a great deal. It's in this small village, but look at all this greenery. The greenery is so beautiful. There's so much greenery. The greenery is... Oh man. I can't think of any other perks besides all the greenery, besides all the greenery around. If I can't sell this land, I won't reach my company's quota. Oh, I know. You. Can you ask around the village? Come on. Just a few people is fine. I want some stories from the villagers. From, from the villagers about this plot for my sales pitch. I appreciate your help. If you could ask older people, it'd be even more persuasive. And good information can come from some unexpected resources. Empty law anecdotes. What's so nice about this plot, this plot of land? I see nothing of value. I won't be duped. Say, next village. But there are two mountains between here and there. Wait, actually no, isn't it? What do you say? The Roman can ask about the lot anecdotes. The vacant lot? I don't know. I think there used to be a house there. You fucking bitch. You. Ah, uh, not again. He's barely doing any climbing. On most days, he just leaves me behind and climbs all the way himself. When will he ever be able to look at these flowers together? Oh my, there's someone who wants to buy that lot? Huh. You're looking for, you're looking for anecdotes to help sell it? Well, until just recently... That lot was four times the price it is now. Since the bubble burst, you can buy it for cheap. I think it's a good deal. Still, you're looking to sell it? You're not some CEO here to turn the land over, are you? Okay. She doesn't. What about you? Oh, that empty lot? Ah, yes. There was a rumor going around about that, about that lot years back. When putting the water pipes in, they found a hot spring underground, but they wanted to keep putting the pipes in, so they covered it back up. I'm sure it's just a rumor, though. No, no, I don't, I'm not talking to you yet. But actually, I might as well talk to you. Why not? Saves me another trip. Flavor doesn't matter. Guess that's how it is for people who eat foods who eat at food stalls. I don't know. There's anything unusual I don't think there's anything unusual about that lot. 
Oh, but the price might go up pretty up there pretty soon. I heard Town Hall's looking to develop part of the mountain, but some people are against it, so I don't know how well it's going to go. If they do it, the price of land will go up for the whole village. <laughs> I know a bit about real estate. Why are you asking about real estate? Do you run a business or something? Hmm. And the last one should be here. Uh, you? No. No, 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 you. Ishiarai River is so beautiful every day. This is the river- This is the river that was used long ago to wash luminous stones from the mines. That's why it was named Stone Washing River. The mines are back near the forest. But it, but it has been abandoned, now it's off limits. Luminous stones are truly sacred, you see. But the village mascot, Lumilok. It's cute. But its mere existence is a complete mockery. Well, goats. Hmm? I don't think there's any interesting stories about that old lot. Oh, is it not you? Is it you? Is this really okay? I guess it... It might be what makes girls these days happy. Oh, that reminds me. I know an interesting story about that lot. Every house that's ever been there has been infested by termites. Termites are terrifying. They'll eat up a home support beams. I bet termites pass through that lot every year. All empty lot anecdotes episode collected. Hey, thanks. These stories all sound great. Now then, allow me to explain. Just hurry up already. I've got to get back to town after this. Of course, once you hear this story, I'm sure you'll want to buy it. Come on. Give me something. Turn my attic. <laughs> Actually, this law has turned. What? I can't. S I can't say that. That one's out. Come on. Give me something. Bubble anecdote. Actually, until just recently, this land was four times the price. Now it's half price. Now it's half price of half price. That's an incredibly good deal. But that's just because the bubble burst, isn't it? There's no potential in in that. Doesn't make it special at all. Do you have anything? Don't you have anything else? Something to m make him see the potential? Come on, give me something. Development oh. anecdote. Huh? Developing the mountain? Who told you something like that? A man with long hair and sweats? Oh, that suspicious looking guy. No, no. You can't take anything that guy says seriously. Well, that one's out. Don't you have anything good? Come on, give me something. Pottery. Oh. Heh. <laughs> Now that is a valuable story. In the past, they once found a hot spring on this uh, on this land. Wait, really? Is that true? But the workers thought it was up because uh, thought it was only trouble and carved it back up. That sounds pretty fishy to me, but you know, that's exactly the kind of stuff I like. There's potential in that. That makes even this old village sound appealing to me. Alright, I've decided. Let's get on with the paperwork. That's great, thank you so much. Thank you too. You could be a, su a successful saleswoman. Take this as a, th as a thanks for me. From me. Helping out is hard work was at its bookmarks. Oh my god, finally. Okay, this is the uh, Okay, I've done every side quest. Let me fish one last time. Or three more times. Three last times. Yep. Fish.
And finally. Alright, it's the last one. Last time I ever fish in this game. Finally. Okay, we go to the general store again. Okay, that's what it is. Thank you. 
Okay. Where is she? There she is. Get the fuck over here. I literally, <laughs> she literally got stuck. Ah. What? Miko, do you want to eat dinner with me? Huh? That's why you're grabbing onto me so tight? Sure, I guess, but you were chasing me like the caretaker does, so I was really scared. Oh, I dropped my stone. What stone? It was stuck in the pendulum of my clock in my parents in my parents' room. Oh, Kotaro. 
Do you want to have dinner with Miko and me? Please give that to me just for a moment. Huh? That stone is an old luminous stone. It won't glow anymore, but I can polish the scratches off. Really? I didn't know you could do that, Kotaro. Please do. That's great, Shiori. So, we let me go. It's time for dinner, right? Alright, let's eat all together. Wow, that's like a whole school of fish. I did catch a lot. Is it too many? Huh? You caught all of these yourself? Holy crap. You might be the best in the whole village. What? No way. You're exaggerating. But look at all this. It's a whole mountain of fish. And you were able to cook them all too? That's amazing. Really? Yeah. And it looks delicious too. Hey, Mr. Caretaker. Jerry's got real talent. But... I doubt even the three of us can finish all this. <laughs> Let's eat already. Yeah, I'll have some. I'll have some. Iron Chef of Fish was added to bookmarks. Is that... is that all of them? By the way, Shiori, what do you think of the village? Huh? Well... It's very green and quiet. Oh, forget it. You, you sound just like Officer Motsuki. Huh? You act like such an old lady sometimes. Huh? I, do I? Plus, just because there's tons of nature doesn't mean it's all good. You think so? You probably just haven't noticed it. With so much nature around, well... You start hearing things. Voices. What kind of voices? The kind that are seriously annoying. You can't hear them. Think of it as a good thing. Miko, when did you start hearing them? I don't know. One day. I just did. People in my family are sometimes born like this. Mr. Caretaker. You might be giving me that look. But you also hear and see things too, right? What? Is that true? Let's change the subject. We should talk care we should talk about cheerful things during dinner. <laughs> cheerful, he says. That's the word coming from him. <laughs> so, I wanted to ask. How have you two spent the last two days? Oh well. I've been causing nothing but trouble for Kotaro. So I've been apologizing the whole time. What? Why? Have you been mean to Shiori this whole time, Mr. Caretaker? Come on, Miko, don't say that. You should just be able to do whatever you want. It's because of you that this depressing archive is a little brighter. But... It's even brighter with you here, Miko. Huh? It's been a long time since... I've, it, I've eaten dinner with people like this. It's just a lot of fun. Then let me tell you something interesting. Oh yeah? What? Mr. Caretaker always eats weird food. Oh. Are you talking about that local dish? Huh? Local dish? Well, anyway... Have him make you some next time. Well, I'm going home. Thanks for the meal. You sure you're okay by yourself? Maybe I should... Alright.
fun. Um, don't need this anymore. Let me see. So, a few bookmarks. That is almost all of them. I'm still missing two. Let's see. Iron shop fish. Oh. Uh, hold on. Which ones do I need? So. Oh, wait. This is the. Oh, it's most of the ending. Hold on. I need nine. No, I have nine. Wait. Iron shop fish. A different side at night. So I, I need to. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I need to. I need to go. Places at night. What's the village? Go to the shrine. See a small cut scene of these cats. Adorable. Cute. What was that? A gathering of cats? This cat didn't run away in time. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Talk to Miyoko and go to the fireflies over. Yep. You haven't gone home yet? Well, I got a feeling Officer Mochizuki is in the station. If he finds me out here at night, he'll escort me home. So I'm waiting until I feel less like he's gonna find me. But, it's not going so well. Alright, show you. Wanna kill some time watching the fireflies? I really don't want to go alone. Yep, let's go. Look, fireflies. You can only see them for a short time in the summer. Wow, I've never seen so many fireflies before. Azako village really has a lot of wonderful places. Hey, Shuri. Did you find anything today? Today? Uh... I looked around the shrine a, l a little and took the old lady to the clinic. Oh. Do you think the countryside is missing something? Is it? I don't think so. There's a lot of stuff here that I don't have near my house. But in the city, there are cafes and bookstores everywhere, right? Well, yeah. Oh, hey. When you were in high school, what did you do for fun? Hmm, in high school? Well, after club meetings, I'd go get crepes with my friends. On weekends, I'd go do karaoke or go shopping for the CD, for the CDs or clothes. Ah, oh, that's so cool. There's nothing like that here. What clubs were you in? Or what kinds of clubs, or what kinds of clubs are there? I was on the basketball team. Uh, I think there was also tennis, baseball, football, band art, band art, theater, and some others. There's more than you can remember? My middle school only has baseball, baseball, tennis, 
and this weird art and literature club called Culture Club. What, really? With so many clubs, nobody could keep track of where everyone was. So, if I skipped school, I bet no one would even notice. If you skip, some would definitely notice. But I guess they wouldn't be that concerned. That sounds nice. Would you prefer people to be less concerned? Depends on the person. Sure. Nico, you're so cool. Ha? Huh? <laughs> you can be so honest sometimes. I really like that. You're the only one who says stuff like that to me. But you're much cooler than me, Shiori. The way you handled things these past few days was really amazing. If I'd been raised in a city, would I be as brave as you? Hmm? Ah. I want to skip school to eat crepes like a cool city kid. Oh, there you go again. <laughs> ah. I don't think he'll notice if I go now. See you later, shorty. Get back before you get scolded. <laughs> oh, you can actually- Oh, you can actually go in, holy shit. Hey, what's wrong? It's the middle of the night. Hmm? Me? I was just thinking of eating some dinner. Well, it'd just be some instant noodles. Fit for my lon- For my lonely life. Ask about Miyako. Hmm? About Miyako? Hmm, well... I met her when I was first assigned here. Late one night, a tall young man came barging into the station. And next to him was a screaming middle school girl. That was Miyako. The tall young man was Kotaro. At first I had no idea what was going on. She was smaller than she is now. She was smaller than she is now. And he was holding her back. She was kind of like a cat ready to pounce. And that same thing happened again and again. That's why I do my best to keep an eye on Miyako. Because of that, Kotaro can call me and not even say anything. Well... That's also why Miyako doesn't really care for me. I'm starting to get sick of cup noodles. Oh hey, so got something to you want to ask me about? Ask about Kotaro. Has Kotaro started opening up to you? Not yet, huh? I see. I thought Kotaro was surprisingly open-minded, but he has a stickler for the for the he's a stickler for the rules. He actually never tells on Miyako if she's over there during the day. He may seem a little scary, but I think he's hiding a nice side. Also, he can be pretty easy, easily pushed around. So if you just do whatever you want, I think he'll forgive you. Oh, sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Ask about you. Me? Well... You might already know this, but I'm not from the village. This is tough. I don't know what else to say. I just lived a pretty normal life. I don't have many fun stories. Why did I become a police officer? Hmm, well... Actually, I have a lot of brothers. There are five of us. And... I had to look after my younger brothers a lot. Breaking up fights. Splitting snacks evenly. Thinking back on it... That might be why I became a police officer. This is a peaceful village, so I don't think anything will happen. Anything big will happen. But I take my patrols very seriously. That's why Mirko stands out so much. She's not a bad kid, but I wish she'd be a little more honest. Ask about myself. 
So, how are you doing? Oh, I just thought you seemed pretty courageous. I'm sure it's difficult losing your parents at your age. If it were me, I think I'd completely lose myself. You're a strong girl, but... Don't you get tired from being so strong? At the station, you look like you had a lot on your mind. But now, you look a little more spirited now. It's good that you got out of the city and uh, came to this village quiet, to this quiet village. And you being more spirited has also made Miyako seem happier. Actually, until you arrived, she was pretty depressed. Well, now she has at least, now she's at least back to normal enough to be rebellious again. Before, she wouldn't open up to anyone. So I'm really glad that you're here to talk to her today. I think the world opened up a bit for her too. Kotaro and I just got on just got on her nerves. I'm very grateful to you. Now I just wish now I just wish she wouldn't skip school so much. Alright, there's also the firefighter I need to talk to, but I already talked to him, so I can just skip all this. I use family. Goes to the clinic, and apparently, I can talk to the doctor, I didn't even know. Oh wait, no, I did talk to him. Right, he was, um, yeah, he's drunk. Right, I did talk to him. Okay, never mind. And...
Okay. And now, just talk to the fisherman. Did I get it? Different side of night. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, so now it's pretty much only endings that I need to get. <sighs> All right, let me. What was this? After remnants, that's the first ending. What's these two? Wait. What's these? Ending one. Uh, secret and final ending. Okay, so there's even more endings. I have three end end endings left. Fantastic. Okay, let me. This is going to suck. Alright, hold on. Let's get the the one that we already have. So this one here. Put this file. I have the I'm pretty sure this is right. Okay. So Hmm, this part looks like it might come loose. I'm curious, should I rip it apart? Rip that shit. There we go. I have the key. What is this place? And so... There's an old coffin. A coffin? Is this what we read about? You, you didn't read it yet.
There's no art book among the antiques. Kotaro said it wasn't helpful, quickly closed and put it on the desk. What is it, a porno? Alright. this I feel like I just learned a lot I think that taking spirits to taking spirits to his husband was falsely accused of stealing rice and they were punished her husband was executed and to you and her dignity taken taken to prison on top of that her unborn baby was taken from her she died holding that grudge and came to the village as a vengeful ghost. And her brother probably drove her off. He felt responsible because he achieved that we, the Kanzakis, were revered as the village guardians. But we just borrowed the stone's power. We don't have any of our own. We just had to live near the forest for hundreds of years. But. I'm sure my ancestors felt responsible for creating the Taken Spirit. Hey, you don't think we can take the coffin to the Taken Spirit, do you? That won't work. For some reason. said the words I love you and love me she would repeat that so many times but after regaining my memories I realized that love shouldn't have to be demanded so Emoto, the old lady said young kids need their parents but it's because okay Hey, Kotaro, what if this is the missing bone fragment of her child? This is it, we have to return it, don't we? Let's try it. What is? It's my fragment, okay, that's it. Watch fragment. Okay, I'm gonna put it in, that's what she said. Thank you. You two really came here. So, who are you? Me? I'm... Mother's child, who was never born. But now Mother will finally realize it's me. Before now, my body was incomplete. But you found the last piece and brought it back to me. Now, mother can finally see me. So please, bring my mother to me. Unite me with my loving mother. But if she doesn't move on, her memory will... Kotaro, we can't keep that from him. It's okay. I already know that, but it's okay. I'm sure once my mother sees me, we can be at peace together. But if that doesn't happen, I'm prepared for what will happen. The luminous stones erase everything. 
then are you sure you want are you sure that's what you want to do i was called by your mother your mother was taking children into her room offering no pain or sadness she must have lived a painful life to want to do that erasing her memories will put an end to it but are you sure the one who hurt mother is already gone the bad man who tricked her and the snake who scared her everyone's already gone but mother is still always always in pain and the children like me we've suffered these sad we suffered these sad memories for hundreds of years when you die, you return to the cycle and move on. You forget the now and just move on. But mother and the rest of us, we can't do that. We just drift along forever in, in this sad world. Please help us. I don't want her to do any more bad things. So please, bring my mother to me. Then I'll take care of the rest. Oh my god. I went past 12 hours. I went past 12 hours. Oh my fucking god. I went past 12 hours. What do I do now? What the fuck do I do? I went past 12 hours. 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 What do I do now? Fuck do I do now? I wasn't recording either. Uh What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck do I do? Do I just do I just reset everything? Do I just start a new stream and like make a new ending? Just like do, just restart this ending again? Is that what I fucking do? Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> Yeah, like, no, it's not gonna work. So fucking good. So fucking good. So fucking good. So fucking good. Hey, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea, but I cannot end the stream. I'll just keep going for now. For now, I'll just keep going. Then I'll take care of the rest. I don't think mother knows yet. Doesn't know that I love her. She and I are the same. You don't need to suffer. Oh, hey, that pretty stone of yours. Did you make it? I see. It's so full of sadness. Stones absorb people's feelings. So someone like you can make a kind stone like that. I see. You know that man, I'm sure that must be painful and difficult, but you didn't give up. You had something special to you, but it'll be okay. I'm sure this will all be over soon. 
So much time has passed. Remember this. That stone is this is different from hers. It's sparkling warm and is made with true kindness. I'm sure that the parting souls will feel that too. So it'll be okay. To reunite mother and child, we have to destroy the stone outside. Let's do it, Kotaro. We have to help them move on. You wait here. Huh? Why? Are you planning on going by yourself? Breaking the luminous stone will cost me my sword. You will be in more danger. We will be in danger too, Kotaro. You're the one who's being targeted by the Taken Spirit. No, you can't. I won't let you ca carry all of the burden by yourself anymore. Plus, after listening to him, I realize why I have to do this. I'm a Kanzaki. Dad and Grandpa suffered so much. The role of the village guardian needs to stop here. Sorry, I guess I'm as stubborn as you, Kotaro. Okay. Not here. This one? The rock's light is getting weaker. So we need to break this rock. Kotaro, are you sure? Your sword will probably break. What's wrong, Kotaro? Leave it to me. You need to run. Kotaro, you can't. You sacrificed yourself too much. Even Grandpa said so. Kotaro, I didn't tell you earlier, but... The Taken Spirit showed me a dream of the man who framed her. This is just a guess from talking to the ghost children, but the man who framed her was your ancestor, wasn't he? You've been suffering all alone. I'm sorry, I had no idea. All this time, I've been living in ignor ignorance. Without knowing how much you did for me, Kotaro. So, Kotaro, let me carry some of the burden. And I know exactly how I can help. I can act as a decoy and bring her to that place. Don't worry. I'll go quick. Don't worry, Kotaro, you and I are both very fast runners. It's really late, but let me keep my end of the promise. 
You made a promise, right? So, let me help you, Kotaro. Let me help you destroy the Luna Stone. It broke. Luna stones are getting more fragile than I thought. I found you. She's here. Let's do this, Kotaro. Ready? Go! What if I get caught? What if I wanna get caught, hold on, let me... What does she say? Promise me, my precious children. Damn it. Wait, what? What happened? How? Wait, what? Wait, how was it? Wait. I, I, f I, f I got confused, hold on. There we go. Fed up. We brought your mother. My sweet, sweet child. Hurry. Hurry and come to me. Hotaro. Mother. 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 We're finally together. My boy. You are my boy. Uh, uh, it's you, it's you, my boy, my sweet, sweet boy, finally, finally, finally. I finally found you, my boy. It must have been painful and difficult. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mother. My beloved mother. Let's go home together. To the next life together. You were reunited. Mother and child. Without erasing their memories. We should go now. I think the taking spirit's fine now. The stone on the altar cracked. No, no, no. You can't go. Mother, 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 you were our mother. 
We won't let you go anywhere. You're the one who killed us. No, this can't be. Kotaro. That stone you have, give it to me. The kindness in your stone will save us all. No, but... We'll all forget and disappear. This sad, painful world will end. We'll return to the cycle and move on. Let us return. Let Mother return. Thank you. Thank you. What a kind stone. Your feelings are so warm and sparkling. Everything. Everything is okay now. Now our sadness. And mother's sins. Everything will be over. Did you know? You've already been forgiven. Mother, I'm sorry. I want to go to the next life of you, but my memories and yours are going to disappear now. Mother, I love you. Mother, Please, be my mother again. They're gone. Their memories disappearing. Really is so sad. I know mother, child, and everyone made it back safely. You made it out of this place. And next time, surely, they'll be together. At least I hope so. I'm sure that's all we can do. That's all we can really do. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, that voice. It's Officer Mochizuki. Let's go, Kotaro. Let's go home. Officer Mochizuki. Amiko. Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're okay. Shuri, what happened? The mountain seems... Hey, now's not the time to talk. Let's get out of here first, but at least you're both safe. Shiori, I'm so happy. I really sent everyone in circles. I'm sorry. Miko. I'm the one who wasn't thinking about how you felt. I'm sorry. It's okay, so don't cry. We all got home safely. Shiori. I'm so glad all of my friends made it home safely. But you know, Officer Mochi... Mochizuki barely listened to a word I said. That's why it took us so long to get to get to you. I kept telling I, t I kept telling him everything would be fine. You were unconscious up until that point. I couldn't just let you keep wandering around. 
Well, it's fine. Everyone was rescued. But what exactly happened in the forest? It was a bunch of stuff that I still can't even believe. And I never imagined a place like that was connecting to the archive. Anyway, I'll figure out something for the report, so just play along. Okay. Sure. Also, oh, Shiori? Yes. Thank you. And I'm sorry. I'll be sure to speak up against bringing you in for questioning, too. You should be more proud of yourself. Officer Mochizuki, thank you so much. All right. I'm gonna take Miyako and hurry back to the village. The villagers worked together and made a path to get back. Well, I have to do the report in a few days. I'll be back then. Miyako, let's go. Your parents are really worried about you. They've come to the station to ask about you so many times. Let's get going. I'll help you apologize. I almost forgot to tell you. The forest is safe now. I don't hear or feel anything. Everyone has been purified. Now you can stay here. Or you can li even live here. Right, Kotaro? Kotaro, once the questioning is over, I'll go home. And about the archive, don't worry about me. I remember my parents, and I have my memories back. Like Miko said, our promise with the Taken Spirit is over. So, there's nothing tying you to this place anymore. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. I wasn't able to get your voice back, but... Thank you for always keeping our promise. For today, let's just rest. I'm sure we're both really tired. Kotaro? Kotaro, your voice. What is it, Kotaro? What is it? Another memo? There's so much I want to say. Yeah. Me too. There's a lot I want to say, Kotaro. And there we go. Cool. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... I can't end the stream because then it'll just cut out. What I have to do is... I have to put up my stream on stream, uh, go back and record it. That's what I have to do. I'm gonna go like an hour back.
Because this, I'm not... Like, I, I can't go back on this. Ending one, their promise. Their promise was added to bookmarks. Rain ends has been unlocked. Uh, well, okay, this one. Uh, let's look at the, the bookmarks. So we have book end, a door left closed. Book end, husk of a brief summer. Bookmark. Shadow of Memories. Stamp Rally Completion Reward Volume 1. A New Star of Fishing. Helping out is hard work. That is adorable. Look at that. She's got little blushies too. That's cute. Iron Chef of Fish. A different side at night. Bookmark. Remnants. I wish someone made actual bookmark of- actual bookmarks of these. Ending one, their promise. Ending 2, a promise erased. Ending 3, promised watchman. Ending 4, his final promise. And ending 5, a promise broken, a promise fulfilled. Okay. Okay, well now... Okay... Now, I need to go all the way back to the beginning, except I think I might, even this file might be past it is, isn't it? I think I need to... I think I need to actually restart the whole thing, which also means it's auto clicker time. Um, Yeah. All right. It's auto clicker time. Yep. Thank you know what? Why don't I wait for the dialogue to stop? I'm just gonna Uh wait hold on, I actually need to get rid of the auto clicker for this album. Oh, never mind. Let's put this back. 
over here. Move right away. Open. Open. Right now. F3. Alright. Did I need to with this one? I don't know. Alright, so I didn't need to interact with the ones uh, in the bedrooms. Okay. Wait, is the. Oh, yeah, it is. Alright, there we go. Okay. Come on.
Okay, too dark. There's the key right here. Then I go and open this. Got the flashlights, and I can go upstairs. Don't need to look at the map, I don't think. Right, everything here is locked, but I can go up here. And yeah, I can open this. So that's a different room now. So I go over here, right? Yep. Over here. Then interact with this. Or this. Also, I'm just not realizing that. Wait, no.
<laughs> I was muted and I don't know how. I just was. Since when was I muted? I don't know. Um so uh to answer, yes, this is a horror game, but I have already played most of this because um because I'm trying to get a different ending. Uh and yes, I was speaking that entire time and I I didn't didn't realize that I I was muted. Anyway. When the hell did I mute? Uh, now where do I go? Oh? Wait. I need to use the phone for a second. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Okay, let me remove the auto clicker. So this was six one two, right? Yes. Basement. I know what the basement is. Here it is. You actually fixed the chat on top of on top of the screen. Yeah, I fixed it on the last part. Um, on the last part of the, of this endurance stream, I, I was working on it while I was waiting for a download and an export, but, uh, yeah, I actually managed to somehow make it work. Also, this is the last part of this, uh, this basement part, or the, um, of the archive part, the prologue, basically. Not really the prologue, but the beginning. You get what I mean. It took, uh, like an hour to fix, but, yeah. After, what, like two years of not having a chat, I finally managed to, to make it work. Hmm. To be fair, I don't think those two years really mattered all that much because, like, realistic, because no one really... No one really spoke in my chat up until now, but I guess for a stream like this, where like a lot of people are gonna show up, um, I guess it makes sense to fix it.
Wait. Okay. I don't know what I just saved over, if I saved over anything at all, but... Could be worse. Is that an article? Mm -hmm. It wasn't me that saved, it was the auto clicker. I'll talk to the caretaker first. All right. <laughs> it was just like the the most awkward silence. <laughs> the auto clicker made that scene so much better and it was so unintentional. Oh no, wait, I'm supposed to um, look around, right? So I... Um, then what? Uh, I think I go stairs. Is this open? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, come on. Wait, no, this one is... Yeah, no, I read this one already. <sighs> this one's locked. Okay. Oh, we're back. Okay. It's locked. Gun out. Hello? Okay, hold on. This is where I...
Okay, the first important choice is about to... About to come up. Alright, I think right here is the is where the first important choice is about to come up. <laughs> Crap! I knew I should have stayed at the archive. Sorry, you're on your own from here. Just go straight and look for the sign at the crossroad, you'll be fine. Huh? What's wrong? It's not... It's nothing, it's the the eye is completely black. And don't tell anyone you saw me either. Uh-huh. Ah. Hey, you're that girl from yesterday. Sorry if this is out of nowhere, but have you seen Miyako around? Uh-huh. It seems like she skipped school again. Ah, is that so? Right. Should be in school right now. No, I haven't. Yes. Alright. You see her, could you talk to her? Uh, play something like War Thunder. Doesn't guarantee views, but it does guarantee suffering. But it's free. I mean, I'm not really looking for views right now. The title alone should, should be what brings in the... The views. Okay, the next one is with me at the shrine. Yeah, and plus I just want to finish this game because I'm, I'm so I'm I'm just almost done. She's not at the shrine yet, is she? That was kind of mysterious. Never mind. Can't go there yet. Alright. We're on the auto clicker. Oh, wait. Uh, right, so. Here's a shop. Cute kitty. Alright. Go to the clinic. By the way, what game is this? Uh, it's uh, Forest of Drizzling Rain. It's at the top, the currently playing. Oh, police station. No problem. Just trying to get this game over with because I... Because I got all the endings except for two of them. But one of them is like right in the main menu, so it won't take long, I think. I don't think I need this, but... Yeah, it's just a side quest. I'm pretty sure I don't need it. Echo outside the shrine. Echo next to the late restaurant. And... I don't care. There is Miyako. Uh, get over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I need to turn off the auto clicker. 
This game looks more like Animal Crossing. Um, I guess the the sprites kind of do, but I don't. I don't really see Animal Crossing looking like that. <laughs> See your, he see your friend? He looks like he was about my age. No way, he's just a trainee teacher at my school. Oh, he's from your school. That explains why he was looking for you. I really don't like him. He's even worse than my classmates. I heard the village in his own town. I heard the village in his own town, but he always has it out for me. Uh, but. So, don't ever tell you that you saw me, okay? But. Well, what? Well, if anything happened to you, the school and police need to know. Ugh, nothing's gonna happen, so don't worry about me. Guess you're nosier than you look. Anyway, I'm gonna hide for a little, for a little longer. So see you. It just looks familiar to it. Hmm. I guess. With Miyako next to the lake restaurant. Officer Matsuki, I guess he's looking for Miko. Should be around here. Yes. Wait. Twelve dollar clicker. All right. Wait. Want to go swimming? Uh, this is a fishing spot, you know. People will look at us weird. Are you just? Are you some delinquent? Nobody out here would do that. I should get moving. Stay put for too- staying put for too long is risky. If you want to go fishing, then try looking at that sign. Okay. Next is... Motsuki next to the rice fields. And I actually want to save here just because... I want to see what happens when you don't help him. But the right answer is to help him because, obviously. Ignore him. I'm not really thinking about marriage yet. Man can be successful without a, without a wife past her 30s, you know? I said I'm fine. Um, all right, let me quit now and let me go back to help him. Help him. Okay. With Miyako at Kinobori Pass. Where was Kinobori Pass again? Oh, was it uh, up here, I think, right? Yes. Guess there's no helping that. Is that how city people think? Must be nice not having people in your case all the time. Ah, she ran off. Right, two again. 
Do you have anything better to do? It's talking to me. It's talking with me that fun. Uh, yeah, it is. Well, I'm bored. Hmm, you're weird. What are you hiding? Okay. All right. Okay, so now, uh, just need to, no, I did not want to go to the shrine, um, Never mind, there's something I missed, I guess. But I've seen pretty much everything I wanted to see. Hmm. Just in case that was something that I had to do. So at least get one stem. Which I doubt, but still. I guess maybe I need to talk to the shrine. Locked. Never mind. Locked off. Cool. Alright. This fish doesn't have much. The view here is not bad. Should wander around for a bit longer. There's... A stamp for the rally on this empty hilltop too. Just left it out since I was asked to, but... Oh, well, just make sure the stamp sheet... Wait, what happens if... Never mind. I need to go back to the shop. Can I please get out of here? Hold well on. Chapter 2. Um...
I'm done exploring though. Pretty much completely done exploring, I don't know. Shut up. Surely I'm done here, right? Come on, I've done everything. We check, uh, maybe she goes to the archive. Yeah. Oh. I, I didn't trigger this. I think that's what may have caused it. Wow, what a waste of my time. Do so. What is it that I have left? Can we name the cow by the grandpa? I think it already has a name. I think it's, uh, what was it? Uh, Sayuri. Yeah, I think I think it's Sayuri. Cause uh later on you see like the grandpa drunk and it's like and he's talking to the cow. He calls it Sayuri, I'm pretty sure. Oh fucker, I have nothing else to do. Can you just
Rename it Coyote. Coyote. Sounds like Coyote, so petition to rename the cow to Dexter. Or you just name it Otis. If you know, you know. Where have you been here? On God, best name I've ever heard. Let's read it to Otis. Yeah. Okay, look, you old fuck. I literally have nothing else to do in this goddamn village. Just please. Hold on. What is the objective of the game? Uh, progress. That's literally all it is, it's just progress until you reach the ending. But the thing is, you're, in you're supposed to interact with something. There is something that I haven't... What genre is this? RPG Maker Horror. I'm supposed to interact with something that I apparently haven't interacted with yet. In the cat extra. Hold on. Uh, we're done exploring. Have gone all the stamps in the village. Get back to the car. Don't tell me I need to get all the stamps in the village. Surely not, right? Because I remember I missed some. Yeah, I might as well. At this point, what else is new? What did I not interact with? I didn't want to fish. I can just walk out, right? Middle of fishing, stop fishing. Was that it? Oh, wow. Okay. So I just needed... Shiori, there is a few things I want to say to you. But I can't because you're all the way... You're, you're not real, but... God damn it. Oh. Uh... I progressed.
Yeah, when I try to make this game into like one big VOD, I think I might have to like cut a few things. All right, head to the store. Oh, right, the... Um, the quest for the thing. Go. <laughs> Wait, I think the auto flicker is this kid a part of a call? Uh, no, she's just a lost kid who gets called by a ghost. A lot. Happens all the time. I think the auto clicker was clicking so fast that the trigger to stop the to stop the crying noise was was skipped. So it just cut out when it when it um when it faded to black. There we go. All right. Ugh. Smash her past main character. She's legal, so pa uh, so smash.
Oh, I just realized that the that the chat is ever so slightly. Oh, hold on, it's gonna bother me to no end. Hold on. Let me move it down a little bit. The fuck is the chat? There it is. Oh, right. That's not what I... Yeah, like that. Okay. Alright. Put the auto worker back on. Why is there two beds in your main character? Uh, why is there two beds in here? Main character have a partner? Uh, no, this isn't, uh, her house. Uh, I think this is like a guest room, I think. Though the second bed is never used, so... I don't know. Girl thought she broke in. Well, she did, but <laughs> she did technically break in. But she does also use it as. I guess she was, she was also taken in as a guest because she has nowhere to go. There's no hotels. Past the guy with the black hair currently talking to. Uh, Smash. He's pretty cool. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Strike keys, okay. Uh, where else I go? Uh, I should probably go back to looking it up, huh? Uh, day two. No. Uh, where is it? 
Go in the kitchen, talk to Kotaro, leave your room to first floor. The office, need to go to the kitchen. See some keys. Third floor. Unlock the kids' room, right. Um, then, then what, uh, see book number four, yeah, go downstairs, right, yep, yep, okay.
some shit. All right, hope you get to three uh, three thousand soon. I can't even reach seven hundred. Yo, Anna, how you doing? I haven't seen you in like a bajillion years. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna take a uh, probably like a few months. I I don't I don't know if uh, don't know when I'm gonna get to it, but I'm getting there. I think. Oh, right. Wait. No, 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 no. I'm wasting time here. Um, I just need to use the, the, um, the phone booth. How are you doing today? in the office.
Okay, hold on. Let me see if I forgot something, which I sure fucking hope not. Um, on day two, don't fish for dinner at all. You can complete the big. Uh, lastly, when you are prompted to get help after Miyako is trapped by the snake pit. Okay. Okay. All right. I just don't need to fish. I think that's the only thing that uh, I don't need to do. Or that's the only other requirement. Okay. Yeah. So I just need to get past day two, skip a shit ton of dialogue. And then I should get to the ending. Um, why is... Uh, hold on. I just... No, it's the BRB. What the fuck? Okay, I just realized that the stream had a... Yeah, it was like this very... Very bothersome black line. Uh, okay, no.
Um. Then what do you do again? Pun. Day two. Where is day two? Chapter two. Uh, so for my motto. Right. Okay. There we go. Go to the no, wait, 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 that's that's the archive. Okay, so now you go back to the general store, right? to take that uh, to turn off the auto clicker for Should be the last thing.
Oh, so because we didn't fish anything, we have onigiri instead. All right, I'll have some. I know I invited you, but it ended up pretty plain. Well, I don't mind. I like it that way. And this is all the village store sells anyway. But is it really okay for me to eat this? Huh? I'm just not sure you and Mr. Caretake will have enough. It's fine. Don't worry, you just eat it. Don't worry, just eat. Hmm. I should have caught some bigger fish. You didn't catch any fish. Hey, Shiori. Have you gotten used to the village yet? Hmm. I suppose so. After walking around the past two... After walking around for the past two days. So, you saw how boring this place is, right? Boring? I wouldn't say that. You don't think so? You really are a city girl. Forget it. I want to hear more about how fun city life is, Shiori. But I want to learn more about you, Mika. About me? Yeah, like what clothes you like. What you're good at. Not so good at. I don't have anything to really brag about. As for my clothes, I don't like wearing anything that shows skin. Oh, right. You're always wearing long sleeves. I don't like getting sudden chills. That's why I hate gym class, because you gotta wear shorts. I wish we could wear tracksuits year-round. Year That's true. You might be the, You might be right there. But what about P itself? You're quite a fast runner, Miko. Just fast at running away. Running away? Oh, right. Is your attendance okay? What's compulsory ed education? I'll be fine. Tests are, well, they aren't that terrible. I see. You do at least study, huh? Sort of. So I wanted to ask you. Have you two spent- Okay, we, we already know this. For a second. Fuck, I didn't want to save there. Well, now I just gotta hope that... Well, now I just gotta hope that the, um... That all of the... That I didn't miss anything.
Um, no. Right. What do we do here again? Mm. Chapter 3, right? Interact with the breaker. Wait, no. Wait, I don't think that's it. Wait, archive, follow Kotaro, look around the storage room, the love letter on the shelf next to the window. Right, we got the keys. No, wait, not here. We got some of the keys to locked rooms. Oof. Uh, I don't think it's here. Hold on. Second floor. It was where uh Miyako was hiding, over here. Hold up. What was it? Look around the storage room. What the fuck is a storage room? When I saw this appear on the home feed and have no idea what's happening, but the other instrument is intriguing. Oh uh, yeah, no, we're just we're just uh right now we're I'm just kinda playing games. I'm just kinda doing some stuff. I already played it technically, but like I'm just trying to get a different ending here. But welcome, Rafferoni. Where the hell was I going again? I actually don't remember. Um Was this a storage room or this? No? Alright. Um, oh, wait, don't tell me. That's what it was. Oh my god, right. What was it? Spare curing? Uh, is it here? 
sucked. No, the spare key is all fit. I wonder where this key is. Oh, okay. Clinic. All right, let's go. Hello, Christian. How you doing? Uh, yeah. Okay, um... Where did I go again? Uh... The fucking payphone! Oh!
Okay, never mind. None of it. None of it mattered. Where do I go? Is it here that I go to? Right. Wait, actually, what if I talk to him? Good grief, what a fuss. Everyone's just talking nonsense. Honest to people who believe in weird superstitions. Hmm. I may be lost, but I support the dedication to the sub goal. Thank you. Honestly, I'm lost as well, even though I technically already played this part. Because I don't remember what exactly to do here. we go and plus I'm skipping most of this to since I already read it but I'm probably gonna have like a 
probably gonna take like all of the segments of like this game and I'm gonna put them into like one big VOD. And I just realized that I've been doing this for... Wait. Ah. Uh. I just realized that I've been doing this for two hours and all I've been doing is skipping dialogue and be lost. I haven't even gotten an ending. It sh I should have been... I should have been done by now. God damn it, man. <sighs> RPG moment, yeah. Pretty much. All right, I remember this part. I do remember this part. Hold on. Busy locks me in. And then we end up jumping out the window. Oh, make for the sub, Raffroni. Oh! Wait, 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 Um, hold on. Also, stream element is working? Hold up. What? So, wait. Was stream element so broken? That they had to disable the stream elements bot run is running message. Okay, so zero seven zero six. There we go. I think that's what it is because it doesn't like it. It has he hasn't hasn't said it. This whole time, the bot hasn't, hasn't put that message at the start.
fishing rod is here, I remember. Okay. Okay, thankfully this part I do remember. more to the 3k sub girl fund despite not knowing most of these games yeah uh. oh my god yeah we'll uh we'll appreciate it Or not, okay. Yeah, you talk too much. Can you like move uh, move on? Like, I mean, like speed this up a little bit. Grandma is.
Okay. Can we just get to chapter three? I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry here. No, I'm not, but like... No, I just, I just need some... I just want to get to the ending. Oh, oh, hello, Granny. Chapter 3, finally! Oh my god, that took way too long.
A what? All oh, right, I need to. Can can you? Thank you. Uh, where do we go again? Right, this is the part where I go into every room and 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 do stuff and like I get called by the grave. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, kids. Alright, this is where your eyes this is where my eyes start hurting. Uh both in game and in real life. There's too much red. There's too much me. There is way too much me.
What's the lore behind the red name and green color scheme? Uh, hold on. Uh, basically, the artist of my fr hold on. I have, a, I, have a, I have a video of it. It's literally my channel trailer. What the fuck is that? On. Oh, never mind. Where the fuck is it? Why is it not my channel trailer? There it is. Uh, share. Uh, here you go. Is this where we finally go to the forest? Shut up. Okay. Um, we're so close.
Okay. Quite the fun origin, yeah. Uh, what the fuck do I? I do not remember. Oh wait, hold on. Was it? Uh, yeah, where's the piece of paper? Fuck. I don't even remember the code. And there we go. No way I just escaped that one. <laughs> no fucking way I just escaped that. Um, okay, there we go. So now with this, I go in here. Oh yeah, these guys don't aren't tangible, they don't actually do damage. Somehow. If now. Okay, so... Uh... Cremation urn. There you go. Um, this one is literally impossible to complete because, like, like it's impossible to complete unless you know kanji, which I don't. Wait. So it's... 6, 0, 5, 9, 4. Wait, no. Uh, over here. There's a shovel. I go in here. Uh, 
There we go. Go down to the basement. Grab that. How the fuck did I skip that? Okay, there we go. No way I took no damage this time. Wow. Jory, please shut up. Please stop talking. Thank you. Miko. Okay, well, we're getting close. Why did I throw my phone all the way over there? I need to go back and get it. Um, are you okay? Wake up. Uh, oh. Shiori. Thank goodness. I looked everywhere for you. I'm sorry, Shiori. What for? I I couldn't stop myself. The village of the village official trying to tear down the archive with no fear of the forest. And the villagers who blamed you even though they fear the forest. I thought I thought they just need to wake up. I see. So you really did pretend to be kidnapped by the Taken Spirit to protect me and the archive. Sure, you knew that and you still came to search for me? I couldn't just leave you out here. I shouldn't have done this. Hey, why did you come here? Shiori. What's wrong? Miko. I saw her. 
Saw who? Do you mean small ghosts? No, not them. I saw the Taken Spirit. Shuri, we have to get out of here now. The Taken Spirit is calling you, Shiori. I found you. You promised for letting him go. I'll be taking your life, Shiori. All of the necklaces, all of the necklaces, stones broke. Shuri, hurry! We have to run. Okay, I won't let you go. Shuri, run straight ahead. Okay. I won't let you go. She's still chasing us. Uh, back. Never mind. Forward. There's a fork in the road. Which way should we go? Shiori? Let's go this way. I didn't. What? It didn't move. Probably see my precious charge in here. It didn't move. Oh well. Guess we gotta do it again. Right here. We did it. Is she f still following us? I don't know. But I don't hear her. I don't hear the voice anymore. I think it's because of this luminous stone. This huge luminous stone. Then if we stay here, will we be safe? It's barely glowing anymore, so I doubt it. But she's probably scared to come out because it's such a big rock. Once she realizes. I'm sure she'll be right behind us again. Miko, are you okay? I'm fine. My legs are just tired. You really should be more worried about yourself. The Taken Spirit is after you, Shiori. You made a promise with her. A promise? You promised to give the Taken Spirit your life. I don't remember doing that. But that's what keeps she keeps saying. Shiori's life in exchange for his. Our promise. My payment. I'm sorry. This is my fault. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have come to the forest. That's not true. It's just because I ignored your feelings and Kotaro's warnings. It's all my fault, so you don't need to apologize to me. But it'll be enough for me if we both just get home alive. We can be sorry later. I'm sure Officer Motsuki will be angry anyway. Uh, well then, let's hurry back and get yelled at. Then we can apologize to everyone again.
everyone together. Shiori, that's so unfair. But, okay, let's go. Lightning, that sounded really close. Ah, oh, come on, don't scare me like that. I hope this isn't good for my heart. Shiori, now's not the time to joke around. The bridge collapsed. It was probably the lightning. This bridge was supposed to get us back to the archive. Oh no, now what? I think our only choice is to go back and try the other path at the fork. Yeah, you're right. I only want to, but let's go back. Huh? Miko? Uh, oh. Sorry, Shiori. The voice just got really strong. Wait, this voice. What's going on? Huh? What's wrong, Miko? The voice is coming from here. Doesn't sound like the Taken Spirit or the Ghost Children. Miko, what do you mean you hear a voice? So you can't hear it. That means that this voice isn't with the Taken Spirit. You mean it's a different ghost? It's better not to pay attention to any voices, but this one doesn't seem evil. And this voice says it wants to help. I'd like it. If it helped, I'd like it if it helped you, Shiori. I can't hear myself, but if you say so, why don't we try digging, digging around here? A small white fragment came out of the muddy soil. That's where we got it from. This... Yeah, that's it. Huh? What are you talking about? Miko, is this fragment saying something? Shiori, that fragment is saying, I want to help my mother. What? Is this a bone from one of the children who were, who were chasing us? But that fragment, it's saying, I don't care if I disappear. Huh? Really? Miko, what's wrong now? I hear a different voice. What? Shuddy, run! Miko! Ah, uh, Let Miko go. The snake won't even budge. Hold on, Miko. I'm gonna get you out. Shuddy, leave me. Just run. I can't do that. You have to. She'll catch you. Don't worry about me. Shuddy, please. Take this. A small luminous stone? I found it when we were digging in the ground. It's small and weak, so I don't think it'll be of much help. But I want you to have it. I can't. Miko, you should... Shiori, you can't just keep sacrificing yourself. Shiori, you... Won't let me apologize. And won't let me protect you. Just let me be the sacrifice. It doesn't matter if I die. Please, just go. Miko, why are you doing this? Miko. Okay. I'll come back with some people from the village. Miko! Hey, Miko! She fainted. She must be in pain. I can't get rid of this snake alone. I need to hurry and get help. Sear snake is wrapped around Miko and I can't get it off. She can't say things like, it doesn't matter if I die. I have to do something. After all, this is all my fault. I have to take responsibility. Wait for me, Miko. I'll be back as soon as I can. It's passed out. Miyako is passed out and isn't responding. I found you. 
Return to protect Miko. I have to go back. I have to protect Miko. That wasn't that wasn't there before. I can't be the only one holding a luminous stone. I can't. Miko, please. Miko, you should should be the you should be the one to keep the stone. Siori. Why did you break your promise? How could I keep it? If anything happened to you, that's not fair. Yes, humans are selfish beings. Huh? Who's that? Always breaking your promises. You... You ravage. You sin. But it's never enough. Screaming and always so selfish. You don't even acknowledge your betters. You sinful humans. I will devour you. Oro? Where are we? Mika. Shiori? What is this place? Why are we... A snake wrapped itself around you and then... A snake? Why would a snake... I don't know. But this is... The Forgotten Shrine of the Forest. Forgotten? Yes. Humans have tried to forget. What do you think these dolls are? They are offerings to deceive me. And even though I, mercif I mercifully accepted them, what did I get in return? Yes. The humans continue to abandon and betray me. What? Why are we... We have to get away from the Taken Spirit. Shuri, stop talking. I'm sure this snake is the old, old god of the forest. Insulin humans, why do you think you are here? Why do you think you are running from that woman? It's all because you have betrayed me. Long ago, we lived in this forest together in harmony. But one day, the humans discovered rice and left the forest. Since then, the humans continue to steal more and more from the forest. I made it rain to protect the forest as a reminder to the humans who left and thus they built a shrine and began to pray to me they made me a promise in exchange for quelling the raging floods they would never step foot in the forest again and offer sacrifices in return but that promise was eventually broken the sacrifices became mere dolls of young girls, and once more, man entered, entered the forest for food. There's no way people would offer human sacrifices, and people went into the forest because they were hungry. Insolent humans, selfish as ever. Man has always been so... On that day, a small, scrawny woman trespassed into the forest, and so I turned myself into a little snake to give her a warning. But that woman shrieked. Help me, kill this snake. I mean, she deserved to die, to be fair. So, like, yeah. Then, a man who had heard her shrieks cut my head off. Me, the god of the forest. It was then that I realized I could never trust you insulin humans again. 
No normal person would think a small snake could be a god. I could not forgive that insolent woman. But... As a man had violated our sacred promise, I no longer had any power left in me. However, I could not let this transgression go unpunished. So, I sent that man. The man who had severed my head and foolishly fell in love with that wrench. A cold, quiet whisper. To resent the woman like a venomous snake. The man's love turned into hatred and he turned the life into a living hell. In the end, she threw herself into the pond Humans can be so cruel, driven by such feelings of love and hate. They are foolish and horrible creatures. Wait, then the dreams I've been having ever since I came to the Archive. You mean that's the reason the Taking Spirit was born? Yes indeed. But strangely enough, the man who killed the woman went mad. Wanting to erase his... To erase his sins, he beat his head against a rock every night. Such a foolish, selfish, and pathetic man. I no longer had any love for humans, but I gave them one last gift. I gave the stone the power to grant the man's wish. The power to erase memories. Ecstatic, the man entered the forest and wished upon the stone. Is that the Luminous Stone? Luminous Stone. That's what the humans call it. So, all this time, the village has been suffering just for that. You think this is trivial? Those who cause harm always feign ignorance playing the victim whether it's com whenever it's convenient that smell of foolishness contaminates the air creating a terrible stench that woman and that man are both the same to me they still pretend to be victims even you are the same you feel pity for those humans but the man but it is man who has forgotten and abandoned me. Because of this, I... The god of the forest will fade away. And then, the luminous stones too will disappear. When that day comes, you will know true suffering. I must regain my power once again. But without the luminous stones, the Taken Spirit will... Shiori! Don't listen to what it's saying, we can't reason with a stubborn god. Without offerings, I have no power. At this rate, that woman will rule the forest. I cannot allow that to happen. I require a sacrifice. One of a young maiden. You understand, right? Don't tell me. Miko, run! Where are we? It's not the forest? You cannot escape. Because you are now inside my stomach. No way. We still have to run. Let's go, Miko. But what do we do? Where can we even run? Girl. Could you be a descendant of that woman? 
Huh? What's wrong, Shiori? I guess Miko can't hear it. It's nothing. Then, do you intend to pay for your ancestors' sins? There is another way. I only require one offering. My offerings were always young girls, so I don't mind one more. But if you, if you atone for the sins of the past, will you let your friend go? I would transform you back into a suitable offering, and then I would devour you. Shiori? Miko, I'm sorry. Could you walk in front of me? Huh? Sure, but why? Um... I'm just scared. I get it, Shorty. No problem. I'll walk in front, so don't worry. Thank you, Miko. I see. So you have chosen to atone. Then, I will accept your sacrifice. Hey, Shuri, if we make it out of this, you can rely on me even more, you know? Even if the villagers or the caretaker make you scared, I'll always have you back up. I'll always back you up. Yeah. Even if you go back to the city, I promise I'll follow you. So... You don't have to take on everything yourself. Yeah. Thank you, Miko. Shuri, why does your voice suddenly sound younger? Shiori? Sh Shiori? Shiori, what happened? I'm sorry, Miko. Why? Why? Yes, good. Once I devour you, I will regain my strength. I will also devour that woman who threatens the forest. Once I do, this tragedy, this tragedy will all come to an end. It'll all end. No, please, don't take Shiori away. I don't care if you're supposed to be some snake god. Just stop it. Just stop. Stop it, please. Shiori. Shiori put an end to everything. But now Shiori won't be coming back. Ah. It's getting rid of all the ghosts. The god of the forest has returned.
Well, that certainly was an ending. I almost want to consider that the true ending, in a way. Maybe it is. Oh damn. Ending six. Forest God's promise. That's cool. Added to bookmarks. Nice. And finally, Rain ends. this far. Please enter your name. Oh. Wait. Uh. I guess. I guess red. Every year in... XX Prefecture, Azakawa Village, holds a, holds a festival that began as part of one of their legends. In order to study this festival, you got on a train bound for Azakawa Village. Oh, we're we're see-through. <laughs> A vending machine that no that is that's no longer running has drinks that you don't see nowadays. A trash can, but since not many people use it, it remains fairly empty. Wait for the bus. There's oh okay, never mind. You there? Are you perhaps waiting for the bus? The buses aren't in service anymore. The sign should have been taken down. Are you by any chance going to Azakawa Village? I see. So you came to research the festival. Perfect. I'm heading there, I'm heading there now. Get in. I'll give you a ride. Ah, before that, just in case, could you tell me your name? Hmm. Red. Got it. Oh, uh, what the fuck? I know the text was fucked up, like, fucked up a lot, but like, that is on another level. Alright, let's get going then. No, it's okay. It's pretty com- this is pretty common lately. And it's not a bad thing for the village to be vibrant and lively. We're here. This is Asakawa Village. The festival starts in the evening. But what will you do until then? What? You didn't even know that the festival was in the evening? Well, do you have a place to stay? Ah, I see. This village is really rural. So there aren't any inns around here. If you got no place to stay, Go to the Azakawa Village Archive. The village uses the archive for emergency accommodations. The caretaker isn't too friendly. 
but you won't be alone, so don't worry. Anyways, I'll let them know about you. Why don't you take a look around first? Ah, but I suggest you go to the archive before sunset, though. It's the festival today, so they might close the archive early. It was supposed to be last week, but a lot happened. But it got everyone to band together, and now things are better. You should also relax and have some, have some fun while you're here. <sighs> the buyer had, had the survey. Wait, <sighs> the buyer had to the survey, had to the survey the what the fuck. Had to survey the land before we could close the deal. They realized it was in the middle of nowhere, so the contract was called off. Though, maybe because I've been, I've been trying to sell this place for so long. I actually fell in love with it myself. I'm kind of tired of forcing myself to work in, white, in a, in a white-collar job now. So I'm thinking of quitting and taking a second chance at life here. Oh, you came for the village festival? That sure is a surprise. I guess we should try to promote the village instead of staying secluded out here. I always longed to live in the in the city, but now I want to help revitalize the village. Perhaps the countryside suits me after all. Hey, you're not busy, right? You want to try starting up a tourism association? It's been sunny ever since the huge downpour the other day. And the villagers all seem to be en so enthusiastic. Fun. It makes me feel a little restless. But I heard that it got the villagers to... Unite and decide not to develop the mountain. Well, what's great about this village is the surrounding nature after all. Ruining it to develop the village would be... would have been a huge mistake. You know, it's been pretty busy compared to the festivals in previous years. I'm sure my husband getting hospitalized caused a lot of trouble too. But between you and me, he's kind of glad he might not have to cook for the festival every year. So many bad things have happened lately, but perhaps we're just at a turning point. Speaking of which, it seems like that girl was innocent after all. Come to think of it, there's no way a nice young girl like her will do such, such things, right? I heard she came here because her parents had passed away. She's such a strong girl. Oh, there sure are lots of visitors here in the festival. I'll have a stall open by the shrine later. Come visit if you have the time. Well, I'll mostly just have all the antiques at my stall though. For the first time in a while, I have some new stuff too. Any area with a river named after a snake has a flood has a flood risk. So I thought we were done we were done for after how it rained last time. But with everyone working together, we somehow managed to get by. Perhaps we no longer live in, in a time where we have no choice but to live in fear of a god. Um Think of not go up here? I guess not. And I also can't read that. Alright. I mean, it's easier for me. Thank you for not having dialogue. I appreciate it. Your baby sure is healthy to be crying so much. Yeah, seems to get louder every day. Which means I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Is it a sign of a healthy... 
It is a sign of a healthy growth, though. I don't think it is. <laughs> Hope you'll grow up strong and let your mama sleep. Wow, so that girl was the daughter of your fishing master? Yeah, I'm so lucky. She was definitely better at fishing than you. Hey, it hurts to hear that, you know. But I am happy. Because now I know that his fishing genius will live on. Hmm. Guess we gotta make our skills... Guess we gotta make sure our skills don't fall behind. I'm confident I can catch a bigger fish than you, at least. Hey. In that case, I better ask that girl to take me as her disciple. You gotta stop make oh my throat you gotta stop making both father and daughter your masters finish for today damn it there's no free fishing today because of the festival also you need a fishing ticket for that but there's this girl who keeps getting them from who knows where she really should buy her own rod so she can fish wherever she wants rice patties sure look different when we wash them together on a beautiful day. It's such a nice day. I'm glad we finally got to climb the hill together. I'm sure today will be a great day for the festival. Then the youngins these days have no energy and are no fun. What? After all that happened, you want to play matchmaker again? Yeah, sure do. How about I set up those two? You know, that caretaker at the archive and the last who stayed there. They're the same age, right? Well, their relationship is none of my business. But as childhood friends, they should start there first. So act like your so act like your age instead of some nosy schoolgirl. Besides. I don't. I swear, out the window there's just these flies, and I can see them through the curtain because, like, the sun is literally. It's. Because the sun is, like, you know. It's, like, making a shadow of them on my curtains. And I keep thinking that there's just this bug in my room, but no, it's outside. Besides, I doubt they'd appreciate it. Nah, no, you're no fun, Doc. In any case, how about I find a wife for you? I already have Sayori, so no thank you. Huh? Sayori? Who's that, Doc? Don't tell me. You mean your cow. What's the matter to you? Stop bothering me and get out of here. Oh. They don't say anything new. That's unfortunate. No one? No one here. The village clinic. Now that you think about it, you can smell that particular disinfectant like hospital smell. Alright. There's a shrine. The shrine still appears to be closed in preparation for the festival. Okay. Oh! I was not expecting this. Oh, we can go here. Oh, so this is a public place now. You know, everyone in the village will play with me all the time now. I was really lonely before, but I'm not anymore. It's so weird. Oh, will you play with me too? Fuck no. I'm tired of you. Oh my, what a surprise to see visitors from outside the village here. Ah, it must be because the rope blocking this place off was blown down in the storm earlier. Oh, but don't, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen if you come here now. It's just an abandoned mine. But I wonder if I should really let children play here. 
I'm babysitting her and she just led me here before I realized. Oh my, where did you come from, little one? Now there's two children here. How did this happen? Can I not? I can't go in? That's kind of bullshit. It's wide open. forest. Can't interact with this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's blocked off. That's bullshit. Enter the archive. This you cut is so nice. Can I really borrow it? Sure. This pen would look great on you. I need to thank your parents again. Don't worry about it. They told me to bring it for you. My parents have been so dotting ever since that happened. <laughs> they have. But you're really amazing, Miko. You even taught me how to put it on. It's no big deal. It's just not that hard. Huh? Who are you? Oh, are you a visitor? But... It doesn't look like you're from here. So, you came to search the festival, Red. But... You didn't know where... It, but you didn't know there were no hotels in the village? Just like me. Fury, Red, the caretaker is calling for you. Officer Motsuki contacted me. You're going to stay then follow archive rules. Hey, Mr. Caretaker, can you stop with the memos now? Just make yourself at home. And he's still using them. But he gave permission, right? And this year has been so weird. I can't believe someone besides Shiori would come and stay here. Yeah. It makes us feel like, eh. It makes us feel like friends already. Oh, you have no idea. I've been playing you this whole time. Um, my childhood memories of the Adzakwa Village Festival are actually really fuzzy, so I'm also really excited for it. Don't get your hopes up, Shiori Red. The festival is much more plain than you're expecting. I have no idea what to expect. I took one step down. What time does this festival start? We can go anytime once it's evening. I actually never liked the festival much before. I had gloomy origins, so I thought it was weird. But we've solved the we've solved the vengeful ghosts. The regrets, pain, and suffering just kept repeating over and over. And it was the same for the Taken Spirit. Yeah. So I was really surprised that they'll disappear just like that. But that happened because you and the caretaker sent the Taken Spirit to where she really belongs. Now I finally understand whose soul this festival is sending off. So I'm way more excited for the festival than last year. And this year you're here too. Miko. Yeah, let's go see the festival together. Alright, if we go early, can we get there when it starts? 
It's not like there's really a proper start time or anything. But Shiori, you seem restless today. You're that interested in the festival? Well, yeah. My childhood memories of the uh, Azakura Village Festival are so fuzzy, so I'm happy I can go again. Oh, right. You were once from Azakura Village. Still weird to think about. Huh? Is it? Well, city people like you are pretty rare around here. I don't think the villager, the villagers and I are all that different. You're totally different. Hmm. Maybe you just change once you leave. For the, maybe you just change once you leave for the city. Then I've got a chance if I go if I go to the city too. A chance. Red, are you going to the festival on your own? Okay, so you look around the village during the festival. So we could go together, but you must be busy. But if you see us around, don't be a stranger. Uh There are even people there who want to research our festival. Oh, are you here because you're interested in horror? Then you really shouldn't expect much. There's nothing like that here anymore. But I guess you can still have fun. The festival will be cheerful this year. Can't go in the kitchen. Interior map of the building. I can at least look at this. Can't enter any Oh, I can. Books just stuff. A lot of books. Alright, it probably doesn't change anything, but... Oh, hi. Totaro. Your room is on the third floor, Red. Don't stay out too late. Enjoy your stay. Sorry, I'm not used to talking. It's locked. Oops, it is. Wait, did I... This leads to the kitchen. No, okay. Should probably interact with it. Once your luggage is dropped off, it'll be evening and the time for the festival. Alright, let's do it. We've checked out pretty much everything, I think. Oh. It's locked. There's nobody inside. What is going on here? Shut up. Alright. This is the kitchen. Alright. That's a goal. Seriously, what are they doing? The two of them went to the forest and haven't come back. Hmm? Shuri is leaving soon. So maybe they had something important to talk about. And nothing wrong with the forest anymore, right? Yeah, but... And they told us to go on ahead, right? <sighs> I'm fine by myself, so... Why don't you have? So why do you have to go with me? It's the festival, so why do I need a chaperone? If you feel that way, then you should clean up your act. Anyway, just cheer up so we can go, Miyako. All right, Red. Can you go check on them? Hey, you can't just ask people to do that. Well, I'd be intruding if I went. Red can pretend to be lost and go check on them. Red, don't listen to me, Echo. Come on, let's just go. Fine. Uh. Absolutely, I'll go check on them. Compared to your old fashioned friends, the name plate looks, looks new. What is it, Kotaro? I was scared because I thought the call the forest was calling, but it doesn't seem as scary anymore. Did you want to talk about something? Oh, a memo again. Um, don't come back to the village. We shouldn't see each other again. 
Kotaro, why are you saying this? Is it because I caused too many problems for you? Then why? I think I'm related to that man. I don't want to cause any more misfortune. Kotaro, look at me. Do you remember what that child said? He said that the stone you made was full of kindness. That's because you're a kind person. You're a kind person, Kotaro. After all, you're you. Besides, even if you tell me that, I won't. I won't make promises anymore. Promise or not, I'll come back again and again. But if you really just don't like me, then you look at me in the eye and tell me that, and tell me to my face. Unless you do that, I'll keep doing what I want. Okay, she. Good. I don't know what I'd do if saying that didn't work. Hey, Kotaro. Let's go to the festival together. Can't go back? Alright. Fuck. Jeez, why is everyone in this village so against my development plan? Even the village chief shot me down. It was so humiliating. Well, you were being unreasonable. But I was just thinking of what's best for the village. Oh, you know. I'm not sure a resort is the best answer. You know there are many young people here who are working, are of working age. Yeah, that's why it's taking so long to rebuild the bridge. Even if we can't build a resort here, there has to be another way. I guess for now, the stamp rally and our village mascot, Lumiluck, are all we can do to revitalize the village. So you were the one who set that up. Maybe it's because of the festival, but there's hardly anyone around here. And go. Oh, hi. Jeez, Shuri is taking forever. So, it's a tiny boring festival, right? Don't say I didn't tell you so. It's kind of sloppy and tastes bland, but that's okay. This is exactly what festival food stalls are like. Yeah, it's the fest. It's a festive move that makes stall food delicious. I can't tell if you're mocking me or com or, com or complimenting me. I guess I'll just have to get better for next year. Wait, can I go to the shrine? Yes, I can. It's night, but so bright, so fun. Come now, you'll fall like that. I'm glad we were able to hold the festival. It's the only happy day in our village's tradition. Oh, you want something from the stall? Hmm, but it's kind of expensive. But okay, don't make great mementos. Proceeds will go to establishing an Azakawa Village Tourism Association. We can get some city girls to do some tourism marketing for us. Coming up with ways to earn money is more fun than I thought. I might actually be a great businessman. 
Maybe I'll quit being unemployed and start my own company. The man from the photo studio gets into a new business every summer. But this stall is doing good this year. Maybe he got a good idea for once. Welcome. These accessories were made using the stones found only in our village. They're very rare and, and valuable. And you can only buy them here. Huh? Do they glow? Uh, well, there aren't any stones that glow anymore. But they still work. They're sure to bring you happiness. Come on, get one as a little something for yourself. Doesn't a festival make you feel relaxed? It makes me want to go hit on some girls. But there aren't many young girls in this village. Can I talk to you? Oh. We haven't got crepes or chocolate bananas out in the countryside. We do have candy apples though. Life is all about getting lucky. So, why don't you try your luck with this lottery? Good. The festival is for guessing without any trouble. Oh. Don't worry. Your Yukata looks great. It really does. Wait, did Miyako say something? Say something again? Well... Oh. Hey, are you here to start something again? Ever since you called her ugly, Yo has been really self-conscious. Just for the record, you guys were mean to me first. Hey, you better watch your mouth. Yeah, apologize. Just stop. I really am ugly. I'm sorry. I should not have called you ugly. No, you should have. You did good. Your personality still sucks, but your face isn't that bad. Okay, I'm done. That's the only apology. That's the only apology you're getting. Miko, sorry for the wait. Ah, Shiori, you took forever. Oh, you're from before. Um, is everything okay? It's fine. We just made up. Anyway, let's go, Shiori. Oh, okay. Sakuma Miyako actually apologized. That was so weird. You... are you okay? I'm really not ugly, am I? No, you aren't. You're super cute, yo. Right? Miyako said it, so it must be true. This bitch. Oh, there's nothing here. There's a large crack in the stone. It's surrounded by small flowers. Oh, I'll talk to them last. Oh, hold on. Miyako said I wasn't ugly. Does that mean I'm actually pretty? Miyako has been hang hanging out with that university student lately. I want a university boyfriend too. I can't tell if Miyako is childish or mature. Oh, um, can I not talk to you? You want something from the stall? But it's kind of expensive. Oh, wait, wait. I'm gonna be able to hold a festival. Yeah, okay. You're still here? And you still say nothing. The young men of the village sound like they're having a lot of fun over there. They're all single, right? My grandpa kept pushing me to get married. But isn't there more than one way to be happy? I'm happier than... I'm happier than ever living with my adorable kitten here. So much has happened this summer. It must be why the festival this year feels so relaxed. Finish for today. 
Hey, are we done? I'm just here to make sure the students don't get too wild at the festival. Aw, oh, come on. Aren't you going back to the city soon? Yeah, he's right. And didn't you spend any and you didn't spend any time with us. Shouldn't you watch your daughter? She'll run off again. Actually about that. After that day, I you know stopped running off. Now I can sleep soundly after my night shifts. Plus, my grandma's looking after Ayuna today. You sure about that? They might both get lost. <laughs> if that happens, we'll just ask Shiori for help again. I still can't believe it. She's really Kanzaki Shiori. I really didn't... I didn't recognize her at all. She sure grew up. Hey. Do you think Shiori's into me at all? You've drank too much, haven't you? <laughs> Quit it, and stay away from Aiko too. Hey, I was just kidding. Hey, Tamaki. You haven't even touched a drink. Oh, stop. This is why I hate country folk. Then... Why'd you pick Azakawa Village for your training? I... I... You even came to help that day. And with Aino too. Yeah, we really do care about the village. Oh, I know. It's a love-hate relationship, right? Wow, Yokohata. You haven't said something that smart. You actually said something smart for once. Huh? What are you talking about? Ah, forget it. Let's just drink. Yeah, it's the festival today. I'm grateful to Shiori, but I think I should apologize to Kotaro too. I was so nasty to him when Aiko went missing. Wow, I'm surprised to hear that from you. Well, I was setting a bad example for Aiko. Huh. I guess you'd... Even you'd grow up once you became a parent. Yeah, Tamaki, you should apologize too. Huh? Why should I? Well, you bullied him a few times, didn't you? <laughs> you sure did. Shut up, I'm not apologizing. Hmm, I still think Shiori might- I still think Shiori might be into me. Ugh, there you go again. Just give it up. I can't imagine she would be- I can't imagine she would be either. You don't gotta be so harsh about it. You just think that since you've- you just think that since you've never left the village and have no experience. Exactly. You should at least visit the city once in a while. And not be full of yourself just because you've got the youth group. Oh, actually, they're gonna be giving us an award. And I'm the one who gets to accept it. So I'm definitely the one, number one ace of the village. Ugh, this is why it feels like the countryside never changes. I didn't think you guys would actually go help. It was raining so hard. Hmm? You say something, Tamaki? Ugh, just drink up. <sighs> the fishermen are here. That's surprising. fuck is happening outside? Let's go up here. Oh, did you want a drink too? That, that's it, that's all he says. Fucking hell. The village clinic. Now you think about it, you can smell the air. Low side. Maybe it's because of the festival, but there's hardly anyone around here. Okay, I guess we talked to Shiori and Miyako. Miko, you really apologized to, the, to those girls from before? Only because I had to, since I really hurt her. Okay. You know... 
I should apologize to you too. Huh? I said some really mean thing mean things to you too. And I helped the caretaker lock you in the archive. Don't even worry about it. I am though. I'll be graduating middle school in, in a year and a half. Mika, what do you mean by that? Shiori. When I'm in high school, you'll still be in the city, right? Um, yeah. Once I graduate, I'll leave the village and go there with you. So, wait for me. Huh? What? Do you hate Azakawa village? No, I don't. I just want to eat crepes with you, Shiori. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting. Oh, by the way, where'd the caretaker go? He went to talk to Officer Mochizuki. Well, he never was the type to come to the festival. Wonder if city festivals have different stalls than us. How about we go to one near my house next time? Huh? Can we? I'd love to see a city festival. Oh, and Kotaro should come with us. Uh, I don't think... I don't know about taking the caretaker to the city. I just can't imagine it. It's giving me goosebumps. Can't wait for you to graduate, but I want to do this again too. You like the festival that much? Well, if you really want to come... It's locked. Of course it is. Alright. Oh! I thought it would be like in the station. Well, looks like the festival hasn't had any issues so far. But with all that happened recently, it's kind of a relief. For a moment, I thought things might have gone further downhill. But I'm glad that everything with Shiori and the uh, archive has calmed down. I heard that Miyako's father talked them out of it at, the me at a meeting. After the incident, Miyako went to her parents in tears. So her father launched an investigation that debunked the officials' claims. The idea of, of revitalizing the village with a resort was ridiculous anyway. All the effort you guys put in really paid off. When I asked Shiori to turn herself in, I wasn't exactly proud of myself. It's true, I did. Even Miyako did a better job than me. I'm sure Shiori was also going through a lot. But because of that, the village came together that day. Even Yokohata went to the general store for help while soaking wet from the rain. And so Misumemoto went to gather the youth group. I heard Town Hall is going to uh, commend the youth group for their efforts. And all the villagers who came were grateful to Shiori too. She really is something. I see why Miyako is so attached to her. She has always been amazing. Alright, you should go back to the girls and enjoy the festival. Ah, I almost forgot. The old doctor was looking for you in Shiori. Remove? He's not there anymore. There they are. Huh? Miyako, I thought you'd be with Shiori. I'll meet up with her later. For now, I think she and Kotaro need some time alone. Oh, that's right. They were childhood friends. They really do get along with each other. You think? I still find it weird. The caretaker is so gloomy. How can you get along with Shiori? But they're both nice people, right? Old childhood friends, reuniting in their rural village. 
It just sounds so nice. Wow, you really do sound like an old man. Ah, Miyako. I've only been here for a few years. But the festival is definitely special this time. Oh, red. So, how's the festival? Nothing fancy, right? Oh, but... I still hope you're having a good time. Ah, oh, it's you two. You've always, you're always together when you vis when you visit. How about it? Care for a drink? Um, we were told that you had something to talk to us about. Ah, yes, that's right. I heard you jump from the second floor of the archive, so I was worried if you were doing okay. Oh, I'm fine, really, perfectly healthy. That's good. I see that you get your that you get your recklessness from your father, though. I must apologize for not telling you everything. I thought it was better for you to know the details. Same goes for the caretaker, too. So you were actually worried about us, huh? But now, I'll tell you anything you want to know. For example, about how your parents came here on a date, calling each other those embarrassing nicknames. Kotaro, you can ignore all of this, okay? So... Were you able to find closure on your parents? Yes. There are many times when I felt lost or sad. But I think I was able to face my parents' feel my parents' feelings and my own too. For a young miss like yourself, you did really well. And you, Kotaro. You're able to speak now, right? If you can, then at least let me hear you say a few words. You've been my doctor all these years. Thank you. So that's what your voice sounds like now, huh? I only remembered your voice from when you were a wee boy. But you sound like a fine young lad now. Perhaps life will be easier now that your voice is back. From now on, you should try living life... The life that you want to live. So, do you have anything that you'd like to do? Kotaro, I'm curious. What? Again with the notes. I want to make a book for the archive. Kotaro, do you mean... I see. You seem to know what he means. What kind of book? A book about the truth behind the Taken Spirit, right? I don't know what you could saw in the forest, but there is nothing wrong with doing what you think needs to be done. Well, today's the festival after all. You kids should take your time, relax and have some fun. Oh, do you want a drink too? Yes, yes I would. So where did Kotaro and Shiori go? Where are they? Are they fucking in the bushes? should have guessed. Um, oh, they're over there. I was... I was... I can't 
can't believe you're the daughter of the Kanzaki family. I was the one who made the clock to commemorate your birth. I read about it in mom's letter. But I'm surprised the photo studio owner would also make clocks. It's a good clock, right? Your parents custom ordered it. I can't make one with a luminous stone pendulum like that, like that anymore. Um, what kind of stall are you running? Aha, uh -huh, let's take a good look. I didn't have plans to help with the festival this year. Since you're here, let me show you what I have in the back. Whoa, what a pretty access- what pretty accessories. Kotaro, you've always liked this stuff, right? Oh, I didn't expect the archive caretaker to be interested in these. I've never seen him react like that before. Oh, this one? Is it is made with the luminous stones. They stopped growing last week for some reason though. But they're still valuable. Refining luminous stones is difficult. They look like the accessories you make, Kotaro. Wait, you make accessories like these? There isn't anyone from the village who can refine stones anymore. And the luminous stone supply is dwindling too. Which is why I'm looking for someone who can make accessories. Could you show me your work later? Oh, I was just thinking of starting an accessory business. One that can take custom orders if possible. Wow, Kotaro, that's, that's great, he wants to hire you. Oh my god, there's someone... Are they, are they live? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, someone just went live, I wanna watch them, hold on. When he was a kid, he always said he wanted to make accessories. Alright, I'll be, I'll be visiting the archive later then. We'll be in touch. Alright, we should head home soon. Huh? Already? Yes, it's getting very late. But still, I have this flower. Uh, but I still have this flower. Oh, excuse me, you there. Can you take this flower? Here you go. We could actually go into the child eating cave this year. And when we did, someone had left the, uh, someone had left flowers. I told you, I picked them and gave them to everyone. I just thought it'd be nice if we all left flowers. Right, so we accept the star? I uh, don't really have a choice. Thank you. The mountain is so beautiful now. I'm sure our future festivals will all be peaceful too now. Festivals are so fun. I know the next one will be too. And the next one, and the next one. You have accepted a flower to offer. Oh, are you thinking of a design? <laughs> I was right. Red, how is it? Are you enjoying the festival, Red? Also, do you want to join us? Uh, do you want to join up with us later? Just let us know if you do. Okay. Welcome. the same thing. leave a flower offer flower
Hey, where did, where did Red go? Don't know. Maybe the one inside. We brought flowers, so we should all go together. Yep, sure feels like summer. Yep, sure feels like summer. I can't wait. Hey, don't space out, Mr. Caretaker. Go with Shiori to get red. Let's go, Kotaro. Ending. No need for promises. And I'm not there. Damn. They left me behind. No need for promises was added to the bookmarks. That should be all of them, right? Yep, that's all of them. Book end. A door left close. Book end. A husk of a brief summer. Bookmark. Shadow of Memories. Stamp Rally Completion Reward, Reward Volume 1. A new star of fishing. Helping out is hard work. Iron Chef of Fish. A different sight at night. Bookmark. Remnants. Ending 1. Their promise. Ending 2. A promise erased. Ending 3. Promised watchman. Ending 4. His final promise. Ending 5. A promise broken, a promise fulfilled. Ending 6. Forest God's promise. With the most badass design out of all of these. Ending. No need for promises. That's the end of the game. 